Yeah. They said they were uh, metering this. Must be working inside the tunnel today. <coughs> Got me 18 wheels rolling down the road. Nothing much to do when you're out here alone. But listen to the radio till daylight breaks. Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake. The whole night trucker station came to an end. But behold, a new savior stepped right in. Thank God for the satellite and radio. For good trucking music, there's a place to go. Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo. Thank God for the satellite and radio. Johnson Tunnel, 1979. Ahead, well, heat is on. Don't drink and drive. I'm reading the little bitty things that's up there ahead. Hey, what? Fire ban. Oh, okay. Fire ban. They're a little dry, too. Slow traffic ahead. And long tunnel, you know. Be prepared to stop. I bet that was a burger back before 1979. That's when they said 79. I bet that was a pain in the butt climbing that mountain. They got US 6 there. I bet you that's what they used. Yeah, we're coming to a stop again. Man, come on, Colorado. I'm trying to make some good time here. I'm trying to. This ain't the state to do it in. <laughs> yeah, I bet you that was the main road before that tunnel was built. Well, I don't know. 50s, 55, 56, 57, that's when they built the interstate system. I don't know exactly when 70 was built, but... Now we're coming into Denver. Oh yeah. Yeah, I can't wait till I get on some flatter ground. <laughs> uh, probably wouldn't be so bad in a car or a little lighter load, but I get through Denver, maybe I can start making some good time. They just had a lot of, I counted four of them. 
uh, left lane close or right lane close and traffic coming to a stop four different times it's time consuming you know plus I'm heavy so a lot of them going uphill I had to really slow down all right well make this number five we're coming to another stop boy that car shortened me up a little bit I could be just because of that lane right there that right lane Correctional facility do not Stop for hitchhikers. I don't think this is a good place to be hitchhiking, huh? I see the prison from here up on top top of this hill it's right over there to our left looks like a prison anyway All right, guys. Good morning. It is the next day, and I decided, well, I didn't render the video last night. It was late. So I decided to go ahead and show my delivery. Then we're going to show a new day from there. Okay, we got to make a lift. Well, I was able to sleep last night without using my motor. Uh, I was able to use the Honda, my little AC up here. And it did a great job. We were comfortable. We slept good. There's two drives. No, there's, I guess, only one. I was going to say there's two drives here. Well, he made it. He got in there. Uh, I was afraid I was hogging up the uh, entrance there. We're getting on. We're in York, Nebraska, for some of you guys who didn't know, because I didn't put my ending in. Uh, but we're in uh, York, Nebraska. We're 113 miles to my delivery, and we got a hammer down. You know, what's funny is you plan when you're going to be there. Well, they wanted me there at 8 o'clock this morning. It's 8.30, see? And uh, dispatch, nobody understands traffic, mountains. Mountains were slowing me down. I couldn't do an average speed. Once I got out of the mountains, I was able to keep it at 65. I had no problem. But being in the mountains, I see you flashing your light. Okay. He was flashing these lights for me. But once I got out of the mountains, I was able to keep my speed. But then the traffic, you guys saw that too, you know, the traffic, uh, five different places uh, in Colorado where we came to a complete stop due to construction. So, and that took time. The Eisenhower Bridge, they had us kind of tied up there. I probably lost so much time in Colorado yesterday, it was, you know, it wasn't funny. Two, not speaking, I was in California when I picked up the load, so that's two hours behind, right? Now, if, if I was delivering California time, <coughs> it would be 6.30. I would actually be on time. But anyway, we're on I-80 here.
We gotta get our butts to Omaha, Nebraska. Oh yeah. Right up here. And we gotta turn right. A double turn. We're pretty much right downtown. <laughs> Jake, you fell, buddy. <coughs> he did. He jumped up on the seat the same time I... The same... The same time that I uh, made that turn. Out of water. There you go. Oh, we can go now. We got the police up here. Uh, I wonder what's going on. I don't have to turn up here. Thank gosh. But we do have them up here for some reason. it's a school thing or something I don't know he was talking to somebody Approaching destination in the half mile on the right side right side 1601 1601. Well, we got a little way to go yet. Well, I don't know if you call this downtown, but I definitely call it uh, a suburb, but it's Omaha. 1601, right side. Hope it's an easy place to get into. Really do. Nobody believes in putting address numbers, though. That's 1902. So we gotta go up a little bit more. Trying to warm up a little bit. 88 degrees out there. Seventeen twenty three, seventeen fifteen. What's this right here? Seventeen oh five. Whoa, that's it right there. But how do you? <laughs> this could be fun. I need to Street. I need to go in and do some investigating because that's it right there I just got to figure how you get in there I don't know how you get in there be back all right they told me what to do but I need to be a road hog 
because I gotta make this tight turn right here. I'm a really tight turn. I'm gonna grab part of that sidewalk, I can't help it. But we ain't gonna hit no poles or anything like that. All right. They told me make a right, right here. Go through here. And I'm going to be looking at three docks. Oh, I see them. He said to grab either one of them docks. It looks like it's a blind back. There ain't three docks there. There's four docks.